Right, we've got the defender. Defender? Defender running beautifully, running sweet now. Um, what else have we done? We started to play with some of the toys and we're bored already, so it's now time to start modifying it. Right, so one thing that's offending us straight off is these white A pillar, these windscreen pillars here. I can't understand when the whole side of the car and the roof is black and the B, C, D, E pillars are all black. Why they've decided to put these body colour. So, oh, the lights have gone out. The lights are back on. Right, um, so to remove this A pillar, we're gonna take it off and we're gonna try some of that wrapping. Now, we've done a little bit of wrapping before, but we're no way experts, are we, George? So we've got some gloss black wrap, some vinyl wrap, and we're gonna have a go at wrapping this ourselves. Because it comes off and worse comes to worse, we'll just get it painted. So, now, I did this at the weekend. And everyone's going in my other video. When we're on the ramps, they're going, you got a bit of trim missing. Well, that wasn't Land Rover's fault. That was my fault. So this little bit here comes off and reveals a secret screw. So first of all, you need to unlock your car. There you go. Right, and this little bit here. Now, I can't remember the best way, but I think I pulled it from the back here. There you go. Now, this one's been off, obviously, before. Okay, so let's have a look. It's got... It's got some little clips. I think best if you look down there, see? So it obviously clips in here. That looks like a, more like a guide than a clip. And then on this side, I think you've got these little ridges here. Can you see those, George? Um, so that panel there just clips in there. And that then exposes. So that's, we can leave that white. That'll look nice white, won't it? Because it'll follow this windscreen pillar along. Um, it's this bit here. Now I think all this comes off together so here we go we've got a Torx T, T25 he, he might be a bit loose no he's not too bad Torx T25 driver there well, I haven't taken this off yet I just was having a look the other day so there you go so that's a nice little bolt there right, let's carefully store in there I'm sure it's bad workshop practice right so apparently then this comes off now has it got some sort of clip holding it on or does it, oh, look, look, look at that, that's, that's it, it's the slide down motion. Well, there we go, so let's have a look. So it's got, so it looks like it's got a series of like little catches here and they slide down or slide up into there. So all these little grooves, so you put it on low and slide it up high. So that doesn't look too bad, George. So we take the other one off, shall we? And then we'll give these a clean with some alcohol wipe and we'll have a go and do some wrapping, shall we? Yep. Yep. Right, so I've got some film. What film are we using, George? Just some we found in the workshop. Some KPMF film. We need about three squares wide. And I reckon I'm gonna get, I'm gonna roll this in, fold that in half. Okay. It's highly technical. Apparently there's some kiddie on YouTube that does really well out of wrapping. And I don't mean musically. Right. Right. Now, George and I were just having a debate Obviously, when we put the bonnet graphic on the other day, um, we oh, it's thundering out there. Oh, um, we used some Johnson's baby shampoo, but I think this is a dry application film. It's got some air release technology, so I think we can. I think we're basically going to stick it on there. First, I'm going to degrease it with one of these alcohol wipes. I've got no idea this is going to go, Do you reckon my warranty's void now? Modifying the vehicle. No. No. In fact, I'm going to do that. You're often. improving the vehicle, not modifying. Oh. Ooh, controversial, George. Look at you. Right. Ooh. Right, how do we get this off here? Oh, there he goes. Right. So I've got a felt squeegee. So I'm going to only go on that middle line there. Of course, it's like Blue Peter, is it? They still have Blue Peter, George. Don't know. No, don't watch TV. Right, so I can see the crease line there. I've got some air bubbles in there.
not looking too bad, is it? There's a little bit of a mark there where that film creased. I reckon the hot air gun might get that out. That's good. That's looking good. It's not looking too bad. I think they might need a heat gun on those bits that got those little creases in. You see that little crease there? It's hard to get on camera, but I think I've got it, yeah. I don't want to scratch the film. Right then. And then we've got to fold it around this edge here, haven't we? Or have I cut it a bit short? Look like you've done it a little bit too short. How much of that edge can we see? Oh, a bit of sharpie pen, that'll be fine. Yeah! No, no, we'll, we'll... But where does that... That goes on the bottom. Oh, the door will be closed there. For a first go, that's all right, isn't it? For a first go, we'll... Let's get the heat gun on that. Let's get, yeah, get the heat gun on that and see. Right. Let's see what we can do with the heat gun. There you go. Ooh. That's, that's okay. Not all the way. No, let's put a slit there. See if I can... How easy does this stuff cut? Not that easy, evidently. Oh, there you go, there you go. Ah, look, you've got to get a better angle there. So you've got to watch that. It goes. Oh, there is actually a crease there if I'd have followed it. That's looking good. It's not looking too bad. I think there's a, it's, I can't think it's a white line or a shine line. That's a, there's a bit of a white line coming through at the but bottom. I think there. I might have to. There's got to be a way of... Maybe it's... Actually, to think about it, I think I'd have been better off leaving it. Because if you look at that other end, George, look. I'd be better off just leaving all of that wrapped, wouldn't I? Yeah, but Does it doesn't it, it doesn't go all the way. What? Look, there's bits of that. There's a massive white bit there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but if you, I'd have done it right, yeah. I'm going to start again. Okay. Re retake. Right, take two. Here we go, second time. So what we've got to... What we've got to make sure this time is that we get the the white side covered and we get all the black from top to bottom so I don't have to do that trim on that line. So we've got enough, yeah, we've got enough if we're clever here. So I need to go to the end of that bit. The heat gun does help where you've got these creases. It looks like the film does sort of shrink when it gets hot. And half the creases sort of come out. And then with a bit of pushing, they pretty much... They pretty much come out. A little bit there. I ain't... I'm not a pro. Oh, I've scratched it in my finger now. Eh? That is getting That's nice. Right, I'll just give that a final once over, trim those little bits off, and we're ready to go and have a look at that on the car. Right, there's our attempt at wrapping. It's not perfect, it's our first go, but I just want to demonstrate this for the video. We'll, we'll have a slower go later. So you've got to make sure you get this bottom end well down in there, so you can see some white up there, and then you can feel it click, and it slides back up, put the bolt in. Don't, don't go too close on the finish, George. <laughs> right, what was our first attempt? It looks better than the white they put on. Right, now these clips here, they're a bit funny to go on. I think you've got to get that, the, front, the front bit on there first, that clip's on, and then that back bit there. There we go. Pillars wrapped. I think that does look better, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. 
Sorry, it's a bit of a hideous rapping attempt, but that, even that does look better. Don't zoom in, George. You can see it. There's a few busting me out, son. flaws there, but overall, it's overall, pretty good. Come on, then marks out a 10 for your dad, George. That's, it's got to be an 8. 8.5. Eight. Oh, you're too generous. All right, have fun. So here's the finished job in the cold light of day. It looks pretty good actually, we've got it outside. And I was thinking there is a slight bonus to wrapping these pillars. Because if you do live in the countryside, you can often get, these can get scratched um, with overhanging branches and trees from trees and stuff and shrubs. So it's probably not a bad idea to wrap them, even if they don't look 100%, because at least it will protect your underlying paintwork when you sell the car. Uh, but there you go, you can see it gives a whole black line all the way all the way across there. Um, I think it looks good. Um, and it's not that difficult to do.